All right, what's going on everybody? So today I've been working on the car a little bit. I, uh, I knew it was time to finally get the nitrous wired in. And that's what I did is I got the nitrous, the nitrous solenoids wired in and everything like that. I'm gonna show you what I use for the switch for the inside and how I did everything on the outside. All right. All right, so here is the nitrous express um i think it's the ford efi kit so it's a solenoid or a relay we don't want to call it so it's the green wire that actually goes to the nitrous solenoid and the fuel solenoid so you just take one black wire from here and one red wire from the fuel solenoid and attach it to the green wire which you see i did right here and that's all you gotta do, cut it, cut it the length, just those two solenoids to this green one. Now this black one right here is your power. And that one's gonna run over to your battery or uh, a volt system, whatever it turns on. I just ran it right to my battery. I, I know it's a big mess right there, but I have a terminal block that I'm gonna put on. So the black one's gonna be your power, it's gonna power the solenoid. And I did it right to the battery so it always has power. The next one is your red one right here. Your red one, I wired it, I don't know if you can see, right down where my uh, nitrous line is, where it comes in, this right here. I just wired it right down in through the firewall, and I'll show you the switch that I put inside. So there, it's, that's for that one. Then the white one is your ground. And what you're gonna do for your ground is take the other wire that you didn't use on your nitrous solenoid and the other one that you didn't use on the fuel solenoid and you're gonna put them into one. So you see how I ran my white one down here, right here is where both the red and white come together. And then I just ran everything. So then I just ran everything right down over to here. So there's two ways you can add them all together and do the way that I did it is I took the ground. So the way I did it is I took the other wire from here from the nitrous solenoid and the other wire from the fuel solenoid and I attached them together and I ran them down to here to a ground. And then you take the white, sol the white wire from the relay and you send its own, and I did its own all the way down to the end. And the reason why I did that is because the white wire is an 18 gauge wire, and these are a 14 gauge wire. So I didn't wanna mix the 14 up with the 18 and have it run down and be hot or anything. So I added its own uh, wire to this one, since it's an 18 gauge, and then I had the other two off of the solenoids as a 14 gauge. And that's how I ended up doing that for the wiring right down in there. All right, so let's go inside and see the switch. All right, so for the switch, that green wire that you saw coming across, I ran it up through here and I spliced it into the Motion Race Works button here. So I'm not doing the window switch that everyone uses up there. I'm putting it on a button so I can control it. So I took it, ran it down in here, and the way you wire it in is here's the switch. You're going to go from the relay to here, and then your other one is going to go to your arming switch, which is right here. So on, turn it on, and then that turns it off. So the way I wired this is I took a 12 gauge wire from the battery, wired it all the way in here and wired it to the switch, which you see the yellow wire is. So now what that's going to do is going to go power to there. Once you flip that on, the other lead coming off of that, this green one, adds power to the button. So now we're going to add power up here to the button. Now when that's done, we're gonna take, it's gonna come in and the wire, the black wire, the white wire we put in is up here. When you press the button, it's gonna connect the circuit. And then when you connect the circuit, 
it's gonna run the signal out to the solenoid that's gonna tell it to activate. Now remember, this is just completing the circuit. The button is only completing the circuit. So that's why you have to run power to the relay itself. So the relay has its power. So the relay has power. You run power to your arming switch, which sends power to your button. The button connects the circuit, connects the circuit over there for the relay, which is why you ran one into here, which sends the power to the solenoids, which in turn gives you your nitrous. So that's how I wired everything up. If you have any questions, I can write out a diagram or feel free to comment down in the comment section below and I can answer any of the questions that you have and do anything if you're having a hard time figuring anything out, but I can give you a, an idea of what to do. All right, thanks guys for following this along. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire in and put fuses in for the uh, bottle heater that's in the back. So, all right, I'll see you guys next time.